happy Sunday. Um, I hope you enjoyed your Labor Day weekend last week. We didn't have a video. We took a little hiatus, but we are back. It is September. It is fall, and we have to keep pushing through with our exercise routine and our fitness goals. So we're just going to keep on going, right? Um, this week, I have a new workout for you. We will be doing some interval training. Um, I have, let's see, seven exercises, full body. I am going to be using my seven and a half pound weights. But you don't have to go as heavy, or you can go heavier. It's up to you. I think five pounds would be great um, if you have those at home. Um, and again, you can always improvise with whatever you do have. Um, we are going to do a couple rounds of those exercises. I'm thinking three rounds. We're going to time it and see how it goes. I set my timer up right now, actually. Um, so yeah, right now, seven exercises. We'll start with the warm-up. We'll do three rounds. We'll see how we're doing with time. As you know, I don't like to keep it here too long. I like to keep it to about 35, 40 minutes, as I feel, I think. Um, and then we are going to do a brief little stretch and cool down, and we're going to be ready, okay? So um, make sure you have your mat, your towel, your water bottle, and a good positive attitude. All right, so let's get it. We are going to start with a warm-up. I just want you to just stretch it out, all the way up, and down. Really reach with those fingertips all the way up. Breathe in, breathe out. Big old circle. Really big there. And then you're going to take this in the opposite direction in two. And one, reverse that. I'm going forward now. Big old circle. Just to warm up. Those shoulders, yep, and then up the back a little bit. We're gonna rotate our spine, weight that up too. Keep those elbows close, and go side to side. The legs are stationary, the hips are not moving. The side to side, your abs are in. Just waking that spine up. And then we're gonna take that to a reach. Now our feet, are, our feet are turning towards the same direction. And we are really reaching with those fingertips, feeling a stretch on that side. Reach, your abs are in real tight. There you go. All right, Don't go in there. Three more on each side. Last one, we're gonna take it to a jumping jack. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go elbow, knee, rotate. Get that knee up there. Rotate that upper body. Try to see if that elbow can reach your knee. Really rotate your back. Three more inside. Boom. Last one on each side. Very good. Take your legs out. Give you a squat. at the top, keep that chest up high, I'll look down, gaze is forward, couple more here, eight, seven, abs tight, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it here, five, four, three, two, 
One, three, pulse up here. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up slow. And then reach for those toes. Knee out wide. Of 
together. Right. And left. Very good. Next, we're going to do our swing. We've done this before. Concentrate on bringing those hips back. Hips are back. Slight bend in the knee. You're not, you're not squatting. It's all in the hips. Thrusting back and forth. And you're really trying to get them back. You're not doing this. You are getting them back there. Like that. Okay? And bring your head down. And really try to get those weights in between those legs. Now really activate your core. Okay? All right, now I smell something burning. I don't know what's happening in this building today. Um, I don't see any smoke, but I do smell something burning. I don't know. It doesn't smell like food. Okay, grab your weight. I got seven and a half pounds. And we're swinging. And we're going. Get that weight in between your legs. And get those hips back. And squeeze at the top, real tight at the top. When you squeeze your glutes at the top, you're also squeezing your abs at the top. Squeeze. Start pulsing, and then we'll get the arms in there. There we go. So just flop your arms down. Keep them controlled and slow going down. You've got full biceps, so you're coming all the way up. Ten more. Nine. Keep pulsing. Eight. Seven. Abs tight. Squeeze your glutes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're going to kind of take it down to the mat. And what we're going to be doing <coughs> is we're going to start off on all four. And we're just going to cover those knees. The knees should be under your hips, lined up with your hips, just like that. Your back should be flat, and then you're going to raise up about an inch, barely up off that mat, with your abs squeezed in, that hover, we're going to hold that, and then when I tell you, you're going to just stretch it out like this. Almost like a downward dog, just stretch it out, and then we're going to go back into our hover, okay? That's the mat exercise. Okay, you're ready. We're going to do our hover. Go. Just above your mat, about an inch. Abs are tight. Breathe. Breathe. Your wrist should be under your shoulder. All right, stretch that up. Again. Total of five times. Wrist under your shoulder, strong, flat back. Try not to move around and wobble. Abs are in. Stretch. <clears throat> more. 
knees are not on the mat. They're slightly above. Just very up. Stretch. And then we got one last one. Go. Last one. Half in. And a whole breath. Four. Three. Two. One. Down. Stretch it out. Next, what we're going to be doing is a combination of sit-ups and plank jacks. So for our plank jacks, we've done these many times before. You're in a high plank position. Now we're just going to back it out or you can do this. Okay? So you're going to do 10 of those plank jacks, turn over, and do 10 sit-ups. Just like that. And sit up. Try to keep your feet, your heels on the floor. After you do your 10 sit ups, you turn around and you do eight plank jacks. Turn around, eight sit ups. Six, four, two. Okay? So each time we do it, it's going to be nice and nice. Alright, so actually, let's start with the jacks. We're going to do 10 and flip over and do 10 steps. Ready? And go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Alright. Now we're going to do 10. You can put your arms where you want here, behind your head. Doesn't matter. Let's do 10. And it's decreasing power through here, so you got it. Two more for me. Last one. Eight. Ten dots. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sit ups. Two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, turn around, six plank jacks, one, two, three, four, five, six, six sit ups, two, Now we're going 
going to do two minutes of planks. I know this is tough, but every 30 seconds, we're going to rotate and do a different side. So we start in the middle, and we go to the right, and we go to the middle, and we go to the left. All right? So it'll be two minutes of planks. So I want you to get back down to your mat. You can do your planks however you'd like. On the way to the side, um, you can have one leg down for support if you need it. Um, you can do this in a high plank position or a low. I'm probably going to do one of each. All right, but it's going to be two minutes and just do the best you can. All right, and we're starting now, low plank, 30 seconds. Tuck your tailbone in. You don't want to be like this or arching your back. You want a flat back, and you want to squeeze those glutes, and tuck your tailbone in by squeezing your glutes. Turn to your side, I'm on my left side. 30 seconds. If you want to, you can be like this. If you want to, you can be like this. Okay, you choose. My feet are staggered and I'm up. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna switch this to the opposite side. Go. Actually, let's go back to the middle. My bad. Back to the middle. Tuck your tailbone. Line up your fist with your nose. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Okay. Opposite side that you didn't do before. 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Get those hips up. 20 seconds. 10 more to go. You got it. Everything's stable. All right, press down. Very good. That was round one, guys. We do round one. Take a minute to stretch or towel off. Take a drink of water. That was seven exercises. Second round is the same set of exercises. We're going to start again with the right foot in that lunge stance, pulsating with the bicep curl. Okay? Give you a couple more seconds, 20 more seconds of rest. And then grab your weights. Get your right leg back. Still got five seconds. All right, this line, and then bring in that bicep curl. And more. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Next is going to be that high pull. Both arms, down, right, left. 
grab your weights. Get ready. Go. Remember with the intention. Upper back is tense. The scapula, the shoulder blades are tensed in the back the whole time. Those elbows up there. Pull, pull, pull. One, two, pull. One, two, pull. That's our insight. Three more. Pull, pull. Elbows up.
That's one. Come on. And all you guys. You do it. A couple more seconds. And stretch. All right. Come on down. Back to our plank jacks with the sit up. Ten, eight, six, four, two. More seconds here. And we're gonna get in position for our plank jack. And we'll start with ten. Okay? Get into position. We'll do your high plank and do ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ten. Sit up. Yeah. 
that good news after this, okay? After these planks, that's good news for you. Come on. Keep those hips high, abs tight. Open up that chest. 10 seconds here. Five seconds here. All right, back to the middle. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Very good. All right. Next, we're going to do the bicep curl with the left leg back and the left. Grab both legs. Left leg is back and the left. Get low and pulse and get those biceps in. 15. Well, it'll be 15 seconds of each plank. The same thing as we did before. 
So 15 seconds to 730. So we are going to start 10 seconds. Start a low plank. Five seconds and hold it for 15 seconds. Ready, go. Up your tailbone and breathe. Keep your abdomen tight. Okay, side. Keep those hips up high. Open up that chest. Stabilize everything. Middle. Last 30 seconds of exercise right here. Last side. So, one, done. All done, all done. All right, stretch that out, please. Hold it. Feel that stretch behind your legs. Knee 
take a straight. If you want to deepen that stretch, you can aim your right foot towards your head. And that gives us that stretch of your hamstring. Foot. Right that straight down. Be able to take this support. Bring that left foot up. That's the knee straight. And hold that leg up. Bring it forward. Feel so that stretch behind your left hamstring. Deepen that stretch. Point your toes downward towards your face. All right. Bring that down. Bring your right knee. Cross it over your body. Towards the left. Look towards your right. Lift your face, extend your right arm back, and look at your right arm. Feel that stretch. Slowly come back to the middle. Straighten out the right leg. Cross your left knee. Put your right body. Bring your left arm out and look at your left arm. Feel that stretch. All right, come to the middle. Happy baby. Grab your ankles. Bring your knees towards you. And feel that inner thigh stretch. Rock back and forth if you like. All right. Bring your knees together. Squeeze them together. Bring them into your chest. Rock back and forth if you like. All right. Slowly rock yourself up. All right. Very good. That was an amazing full body workout. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that interval um, workout. We got a little bit of cardio. We worked a lot of different body parts. I feel stronger. I don't know about you. Um, but have a great week. And again, thank you for joining me. And um, I hope to see you next Sunday. Take care.